Hello, and welcome back to Song Surveys on Sofas with Superheroes, the sub-series. So last week I did the new song um, with the Switchfoot song that had just come out. And this week we're going to go old school and talk about a song that I really loved back when it first came out and wish it had gotten huge and wish the band had gotten huge. And unfortunately they didn't, but um, it's always nice to revisit some old songs. I still listen to it today. Um, this is actually the song that totally encouraged this whole sub-series thing to begin with. I really thought, man, I should like really share some of my like old school throwbacks. So yeah. So this is the song that kind of started this whole year-long endeavor. Um, the song we're going to be talking about today is Armor for Sleep's Remember to Feel Real. And the song starts off with a pretty powerful um, instruments, right? It's pretty full-bodied instruments. And it's very short before the first verse comes in. So I really like the first verse. I think the whole song kind of speaks to um, something that everyone deals with in their own way. And it's really like has to do with impressing people and um, kind of changing yourself to be what you think other people want you to be. And the line that really sticks with me in that first verse is, um, you were right all along, they were never my friends. So I think that like is great. You know, this person went through all this effort and you know, time and energy and thinking, did I do the right thing? And even like, you know, when you have that heartbreak moment where you're like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that or I should have done this differently. And really for what, right? For for almost like nothing. I mean, there weren't even your friends in the end. So I, I think that that speaks to a lot of people and a lot of people do deal with that, um, whether they care to admit it or not. But I really love the way that they address it in the verse. And I think it's um, a really powerful statement. And I also really love the line that takes you into the chorus. So right before the cor chorus, he says, sometimes it's hard to know what's real when you're not. And I think that's um, just, again, something that a lot of people deal with um, in the end. And they're kind of like, wait a minute, like, is this a real friend? And then you kind of figure out whether it is or not. But it is hard when you are not your real self. How can you tell? Like, maybe it would be or maybe it's not just because you're being fake. So then you... I, I don't know. I thought it was a really good line. And it's a great line to bring you right into the chorus. Um, especially because when that line is sung, the drums kind of like set you up. They kind of get you like build up to that transition, which makes it so seamless into the chorus. Um, I love the chorus because it's like so multifaceted, especially in terms of the instrumental, but also lyrics. But let's talk about the instrumentals first. So the first part of the chorus is like that more full... Um, instruments right which is what the drums lead you up to into the chorus so then you get that moment but then in the third line it gets to that short quick sound which obviously you guys all know at this point that i love so i really love that and um then it goes back into that more full sound and i do love it because they kind of do have that one repeating line in the chorus which is um I waited out for you, which I like in and of itself. And um, so then they sing a little bit, a couple lines, and then they go back to that line, which is the last line in the chorus, which then bridges back into the verse, which I really love. But let's go back to the lyrics of the chorus now. So in the lyrics of the chorus, they're kind of asking the person to wait around, right? He says that he's like a mess and would you wait it out for me right and I would wait for you and so I really like that I think it's um pretty interesting especially because I don't know that everyone really knows if they could wait it out for someone um but I love that he thinks that he could so I think that that really adds a layer for me personally um is you know maybe in that reverse situation maybe he wouldn't be able to do it but he's like hopeful that he would be able to do it. Even though he's so messed up, he's thinking, you know what, if this was a different, I think I would be able to do this for you. So I really love that he's asking this person to do it for him because he would do it for them. So I like that. Um, and then the line. <laughs> so the third line where the drums like break down a little bit and the music breaks down into that shorter notes, um, it's, but I'm sick of trying so hard. And I really love that too, especially because you do, it's like you get to this point where you're just like, I'm like, why am, what am I, why am I doing this? Why am I trying? I'm just tired. I'm sick of it. Um, and I think the fact that the music breaks down at the same time that these lyrics are being sung really adds to the fact that he is like, he's I'm sick of trying so hard. And the music kind of goes with that feeling of just like being done, being tired of it. And I think that that really works well. Um, so yeah, I really love the chorus. 
Um, after the first chorus, they go into the second verse. Um, and it's pretty simple. Um, I wish that they would have expanded. It's only two lines and they actually repeat um, the line that I love that I was talking about before um, about not knowing what's real when you're not. So it's really technically only one new line. <laughs> um, and I wish that they would have expanded on it. I think it's a great song as it is, but to have that extra like maybe 30 seconds of second verse would be really wonderful. Cause then they go right back into the second chorus, which is not different from the first chorus, but again, I love the chorus. So that's, that's okay. Um, and then at the end, they kind of break down the music a little bit and they go into the bridge, which I really love. Um, like, really love the bridge it actually the bridge makes up for the lack of second verse in my opinion so anyway the bridge is super simple the lyrics are very simple but um so the instrumental part kind of breaks down and gets a little bit slower this is probably the slowest part of the song overall in the entire song um and then the lyrics are nothing's here for me nothing's here for me but you nothing's here for me but you the first time they say nothing's here for me but you, it matches the first um, there's nothing here in that slower music with that like kind of same tone. And then at the end of the next time they say that, when they say but you, uh, just like the way he sings it, he sings it in a much heavier tone and the instruments come in more full and you like get right back into that like pickup of the chorus. The way he sings that just like, uh, it's like, chilling to me. I love it. I think it's an excellent way to transition back from the bridge into that chorus. And I just, I'm absolutely in love with it. I think the lyric is great. I think the way he sings it is great. Love that part. Really love that part of the song. Um, and then after that, yeah, so then they go back into the chorus and, um, they, um, you know, kind of repeat a couple times, uh, but make it a little bit different on what they repeat they don't go through the whole chorus again and again they do go through the whole chorus once and then kind of after that they just um are repeating only certain parts so yeah at the end it ends with the singer going i'd wait it out for you twice and then it kind of ends abruptly but it started abruptly so it's a good end for that song um yeah so that's my take on this song and i really hope you guys listen to it if you've never heard it before and even if you have heard it before go listen to it again it's still a good song um, and who knows, maybe we can like start this movement to get Armor for Sleep back. Um, yeah, when I saw them a couple years ago, they played like my four favorite songs in like this one chunk and it was just the most fantastic, amazing moment of life. It was just so wonderful. And, um, yeah, if just listening to it on YouTube or whatever medium you have would be like get you to that state of mind just like oh my god this song is so good it is an excellent song so please check it out comment let me know what you think do you have you listened to the song have you never listened to the song do you love armor for sleep have you never even heard of them before um yeah let me know in the comments like subscribe and uh, i will see you guys next week to continue this sub series all right bye